Hi, I'm Deanna Springer. And I'm Dana Casey with the Fun Stitchet Sisters Sewing Project and Classic Time Saving Tips by Nancy Zeman. First, let's take a look at the project we're making today. We'll be making our new Twisted Loop Scarf with Riley Blake Design Stretch Jersey Knit Fabrics, Clover's Choco Liner, Schmetz EL Serger Needles Size 80, Clover's 5-in-1 Sliding Gauge, a little quarter-inch fusible tape, our heart-shaped pins, and our new Burnett 64 Airlock Serger. Stitch a stylish and lightweight scarf. Take on spring and summer in style with our Twisted Loop Scarf. You can make this fabulous scarf in just 30 minutes from just one easy fabric rectangle and our easiest ever serging techniques. To make our Twisted Loop Scarf, we'll start by choosing our fabrics. We've selected Riley Blake Stretch Knit Jersey Fabrics. Be sure to choose fabrics that have at least 5% spandex for a lot of stretch and recovery and a really comfortable and drapey scarf. This lightweight stretch cotton knit fabric provides a smooth hand, stylish drape, and about a 50% four-way stretch for added comfort. Next, we'll prepare our fabrics. A classic time-saving tip by my longtime friend Nancy, pre-shrink your fabrics. Head to the ironing board, steam and press and spray starch your fabrics. And we like to give our knit jerseys two spray starchings mm -hmm. so that they're easy to stitch at the serger with that spray starch. Nice. So once we prepared our fabrics, we'll cut our fabric. And this is such a quick and easy serger project. It's great for beginners. So we just take a half a yard of the jersey knit. Okay. So this, we'll open this up. This is just one half yard of fabric and you can see it's 58 inches wide, approximately and 18 inches long. And we're okay. just start by folding. We're folding our fabric and meeting those long edges. And you just match up those seams and do a little pinning. So we can pin and pin those edges together. And this is another classic time-saving tip by my longtime friend Nancy. When you're serging a project, you can put your pins parallel with the selvage. As we feed it into the serger, that way it's easier to pull the pins out when you're approaching the serger blade and needles, and you won't accidentally nick your pins. Right. Oh, that's a great tip. So we'll just pin that together, and we'll head to the serger, and we'll stitch. We'll set up our machine, for a four thread overlock stitch. That's just the basic stitch that we use when construction, constructing garments. Okay, so like on the inside of your cuff, if you were to flip that up, that's what mm -hmm. that looks like. Just a four thread overlock stitch, a okay. basic. That four thread means four spools of thread, four serger cones, and we insert that EL size 80 needle to uh, stitch our scarf. And we stitch. We stitch all the way down that long seam. It provides extra durability to have those serger stitches. And this mm -hmm. is a stretchy fabric, so it has a little bit of give after you stitch it. That's a great idea because a lot of times when I'm wearing my neck scarves, I'll pull on them or move them. Mm -hmm. So you don't want that really tight. Right. And you can readjust. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they're super, super comfortable. Knit scarves are super comfortable. So the next sample shows that we've already stitched. We've already stitched the long seam of this twisted loop scarf. And the reason it's a twisted loop scarf is what we'll show next. So I'm just reaching in to that fabric and I'm going to turn it right side out. And I'll hang on to that seam between my thumb and index finger okay. and I'll turn it, turn it onto itself and I'm keeping those seams aligned. So right now those seams are aligned. And you could make a start scarf like this, it would work just fine. But we put a little twist in it to give it a little design while you're wearing the scarf. To do that, we pin. We pin the side seam where the opposite seam would be. Okay. It's one seam scarf, so there's a fold on this side. And there's serge seams on this side. Here's where the twist comes in. I reach in and I twist that inner layer. I'm twisting and aligning that one seam with the fold. And I pin, and then I pin the opposite fold to the opposite seam. Oh, okay. So we've put a little twist in there. 
and you could pin that parallel to the edges. Sure. It's, it's a small narrow scarf, so you just really need a pin on mm -hmm. each side. And then we head back to the serger, and we stitch with that four thread stitch, and we serge all the way around the scarf. But we need to leave a little opening for turning. Okay. So be sure to mark that with your five and one sliding gauge before we start stitching. Okay. And you just set your five and one sliding gauge for a four inch opening and mark. Just in the center of the scarf, I mark that. We'll mark that four inch opening. And that's our no serger zone. So okay. we won't be serging in that area. That's where we'll turn the scarf right side out. Oh, okay. And that's just enough to get in there and pull it all out. Mm -hmm. So we'll head back to the serger and serge that seam, but not that opening. Mm -hmm. Serge all the way around, beginning at the, the first mark, and serge off the edge of the fabric when you reach the end of the seam. Okay. In our next sample, we have a finished loop scarf. But how we made this and turned it right side out, I want to show you that opening. Here's that opening in that seam. It's kind of hiding right there. But I'll turn it wrong side out so you can see the last step we just did. So you just reach in and turn it. And there's that seam. It's more uh, recognizable mm -hmm. for you right now uh, how it looked before. Right. And you reach in through that opening and turn it right side out. So here's that seam that we just stitched with that opening. And you just reach in, turn it right side out, and you have your loop scarf. Now we have that little opening that we want to close. And our favorite method of doing that is taking a little Clover's Fusible Tape. So we just put a little four inch section of that Clover's Fusible Tape mm -hmm. and then head to the ironing board and press that Fusible Tape in place. Remove that paper backing and press that seam closed. Now you could come back and stitch that with your sewing machine or hand stitch oh, it. Yes. Or just uh, leave it, the fusible tape will hold that in place. And then you have your twist it scarf. And you could, you could, it's versatile, you could wear it long and down, mm -hmm. or give it a twist, twist it around your neck, and you have a nice fashion accent. That's great, and quick and easy. Our new Twist It Loop Scarf is such a fast and fun serging project. You'll be serging a scarf in 30 minutes. It's amazing, each scarf is made of just one half yard fabric. I'm thinking I'll be making a few of these for my wardrobe. We hope you've enjoyed this Stitch It Sisters project. You'll find this pattern along with a limited number of project bundle boxes at stitchitsisters.com. Be sure to tune in again next time for another Stitch It Sisters sewing adventure. In the meantime, connect with Stitch It Sisters and friends on our social sites. Stitch It Sisters is made possible by Bernina, Clover, Riley Blake Designs, OESD, Oklahoma Embroidery Supply and Design, and shopnzp.com. Bernina, made to create.